what is going on you guys it's your girl clarice label and you're welcome back to the label show today's topic as you can see is a topic that i think we all can relate to it and i'm going to be very very brief today okay this video is going to be a short video so we're talking about trusting god even when it makes no sense and um yesterday i was on a live on tiktok and we're talking about something relating to the same topic and so um somebody came onto my life and wanted to also say something and um this man out of everybody that said something in the live this was the only person that immediately related the whole topic to the word of god and it really really spoke to me then you know you have to understand that whether you choose to trust in God or not, he still remains God forever. God will never change. He will never stop being God. His principles, his laws, and everything that comes with him, the benefits that come with him will never ever stop and it will not change because you decide not to trust him. So you might as well just do yourself a favor and just trust on the Lord, lean on him. I know that problem, that situation is too much for you we all have been dealing with a lot this year anyway so when this man came um he went immediately to the bible and the story and the person he used um as inspiration was abraham and he talked about abraham's trust in god even when it didn't it didn't actually make sense you know you're actually supposed to go for a sacrifice you're expecting normally you're supposed to get a ram or a goat or a sheep or whatever it may be but yet God is asking you to take your only child, the only child, the child that he promised he was going to give to you in your old age. Yet you still obey. You know, before that, even God tells you to leave your father and mother and go to a place he will show you. He doesn't tell you what city you're going into. He just tells you, I'll show you. And you just have to trust him and know that he will show you. And so it really spoke to me because I realized that sometimes when we are faced with issues in life, the first thing we're trying to rush to, probably social media, probably trying to call a friend, call our moms, our fathers or whatever we have in our lives. And that is really not the best way to go about life. The first thing or the first person you're supposed to talk to is God. It's God before you talk to anybody else. And yesterday, even though you know, this is something that I know, but yesterday, this life really really spoke to me when this man said this okay because sometimes i find myself trying to call my mother try to look for my own answers and it's not working <laughs> but sometimes i want to talk to my mom guess what i call her she's not there she's her, there's no network or probably there's no electricity so she hasn't charged her phone and things like that so um but if i had just gone to god i'll probably save myself from the worry and stuff but the thing is, we all are facing the situations, whatever it is that we might be having, we might be going through this, especially this year, because this year has been it, okay? I can count how many times I've shared tears in this house by myself. I've cried, I've been on the floor, I've slept on my floor. I have a very large king size bed. I have not slept on it some days, I just sleep on the floor. Like, I've just gone through my emotions and stuff. But at the end of the day, god still reminds me that he is the boss and this too whatever it is that i'm going through whatever it is that you are going through during this season and during this time to pass it's not going to be there forever i'll tell you a story one of my baby sisters this year at the early part of the year i want to say around february or march was involved in a very terrible third degree burn fire accident it was so bad and we had a 50 50 chance if she was going to make it or not so i'm not there i'm here they are back home in cameroon if you don't know i'm originally from cameroon yeah. so um but they're going through all these things the very first night that it happened i had to send money so all my job has been to send money to stay in prayers and to encourage her my sister before the year started she told me that she wanted to elevate herself she's done she's completed her master's and she wanted to she's also doing a lot she's doing her, her um designing she's into like fashion designing and things like that she's also an artist she likes to paint and draw so she was trying to just put all of this together and see how she could you know come out as an entrepreneur of some sort and just it, to elevate herself she rented a new apartment really nice she was telling me she's ready this you know 2024 she's ready to 
just be great in her own element. And I, as a big sister, what I always do with my siblings is I support them. I champion them because I'm their, their coach. I coach them. And um, I was I was excited for her. But when that happened, she felt like every plan, everything she had, had fallen before her very own eyes. During that same period where we're trying to deal with, with her, all what she's going through, um, cost a lot of money, okay? Um, one of my other sisters, my cousin, one of my most beautiful cousins of all times, was also involved in a fire accident. Um, this was this happened in her place of work, and she was in the hospital for a few, I want to say a week or two, or th about three weeks, and unfortunately, she didn't make it, so she passed. So it was a trying time for us as a family, really, really trying time. But till now, my baby sister, we thank God she is here. She's recovering, but... When I talk with her, I tell her, I said, the time you were in that, when you were in that situation, when in the hospital, you were crying, you felt like your life had ended, you felt like you wanted to just go, you want to give up, your body is destroyed and things like that. Um, all I had to do was to encourage you. And that was the words that God was giving to me. I was telling her on Sunday, I said, now that you've been able to come out of this, take this as your story. This is your ministry. This is your um this is your story in life so that you're going to be able to encourage other people right this will be your word to other people and show them the god that came through for you so sometimes when we are in difficulties when we're facing situations at the end of the day god doesn't want us to just leave or you know graduate from that situation or that school that he's taking that's the school of life you know we're facing issues one class to another and just, you know, don't take any lesson with you. Take something with you as you accelerate so that you can be of encouragement to others and even to your own self when you look back. The errors you made, the mistakes, how you're able to learn from that and be great and move forward, right? Those are the things that God would like us to take with us. So you have to be able to have learned something from that experience, from that situation, and carry it forward. And... um life we're always going to have issues we're always going to be facing you know situations whether it's through us directly or the people around us the people that we love the people that matter so excuse me so while we're going through this life again it just got done on me that this was the only person that related you know this the topic to the word of god and that is what we're all supposed to be doing every time go back to the word you know so decide choose to trust god i've been in situations this year where i didn't know how i was going to pay my bills i didn't know how i was going to pay my rent right the year is almost ending and god has come through for me every single time at the end of the month with my bills and so on and so forth and this this month of november um it's been a roller coaster of emotions today i'm up i'm excited i'm praising god the next day my thoughts go back to all this you know my bills are almost over how well, am i going to survive how am i going to da, 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 da. and the next day i'm encouraged again and, and facing the word and you can just imagine like somebody who was um from the bible like job right when you look at job um just put yourself in job's situation that you think your kids are partying over there but no your kids they're going to tell you that your kids have all passed and um, your wife was supposed to be your best friend, the person to encourage you. Your best coach is telling you to cause God and die. Your your friends were supposed to be there to cheer you up. They are just bringing all these conversations and words of discouragement and things like that. But Job, even though he had days where he too felt like this is too much, but at the end of the day, he always still trusted God, knowing that he was going to survive, he was going to make it. So that's the mindset I want us to have, especially as the year goes to an end. Remember, I said in this channel, it's you and I. Everything I'm telling you is what I'm learning from my own self. And this is life, yeah? The person that you were yesterday, you might get an information today that will completely change you from that person. And that was what happened to me in that life yesterday on my TikTok. It really blessed me. I was ending the live, I was telling this man that. I don't know if you 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 get it, but what you came here and did is probably all I needed to encourage myself. And I thank you so much. So this is me encouraging you as well. 
don't give up trust in god just believe it makes no sense i know but just believe just be delulu just be a fool <laughs> just be a fool that's how you have to serve this god you know that's why the bible likes me to ship you know just be a sheep just be the sheep goes wherever he's just just be just be delusional for the lord as this year runs to an end trust god he's going to finish it with you this year has been it for me and i'm done i don't want to go through life again like this like i went through this year so hopefully um this few words encouraged you today and um god bless you i pray for you i just pray that god will will show you that he is god i pray that you will not give up and i pray that you will stand and understand that unfortunately nobody is coming to save you nobody is coming to save you in terms of humans right because even our own selves i don't even trust sometimes i say i want to walk out before i know it the week has gone i've not walked out so imagine me depending on other people so that in just technically i'm just letting you know that you have to believe in this god alone your mom cannot believe in him for you your sisters cannot believe god for you your friends i know there's something people say but trust me they cannot because everybody's dealing with their own issue so you have to believe in god for yourself trust that he will come through for you trust that he got you and you will make it you will be just fine god bless you so much and thank you once again for stopping by on my channel i'll see you on the next episode god willing stay blessed bye y'all